What's up everybody? Welcome back to our In The Rean unboxings. I'm your host Rich Diaz and today we're going to be talking about the brand new bi-monthly WWE Slam Crate. Now for those of you out there who know about Loot Crate, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription uh, box service that sends you boxes based on certain things like uh, October was horror, the month before that was speed, I'm not sure what it is for November. But they decided to get into a partnership with WWE and now uh, bi-monthly, starting now in the month of November, you would get the first box like we most of us have already. And then I guess around Royal Rumble time we'll be getting the second box. And uh, the theme for this month's box is the first, because it's the first one. So let's pop it open, see what's in here, what did they give us for this very first month. See the first thing out, first thing out is a booklet describing, it's called The First. It describes everything that's inside the actual uh, box, the t-shirt, belt buckle, we'll get to all that. Uh, if you fold it over, <laughs> outside the ring with Xavier Woods. Wow. So WWE is so threatened by this program that they've, they're, they have a little, they're throwing a little jab at me here, outside the ring with Xavier. I like Xavier Woods. So I'm going to leave them alone, but that's the booklet right there. First thing out the box, actual item out the box is a Mitch the Plant. It's a potted plant for you at home to plant your own Mitch. If you remember Mitch from the short-lived Ambrose Asylum talk show hosted by Dean Ambrose, and he was fortunately, uh, the actual Mitch was broken over the head of Dean Ambrose by Chris Jericho. So now you get to plant your own Mitch. This comes with seeds, so all you have to do is add water and follow the instructions, which are right here on the back. And um, unfortunately, my house is a little dark, so my Mitch might die, or well, hopefully not. So that's the very first item out of the, the, the first Slam Crate box. The next thing we have up is an NXT iron patch. The logo of NXT. You could iron it onto your favorite jacket, your favorite shirt. Um, I'm gonna pretend like I'm an actual superstar and I'm gonna go get my tidy whities and iron it on the back of there so I can say I work for NXT. Maybe it'll get me a job something, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Triple H will see the effort I'm putting forth. But this is an iron pack, an iron on pack for you guys. And that's for you to enjoy. You know, I don't know anywhere else you'd like to put it, but jackets, shirts, or in my case, your under roofs. So, there's that. Um, next thing we got up here is an official Austin Aries Tops trading card. If you can see that right there. Uh, they said that the first 100 people, which I'm sure I was one of them, would get a the card autographed. Clearly you can see mine is not because apparently I wasn't one of the first 100 even though I could have sworn I was, but regardless. So those of you who did get it, lucky. Um, and it basically on the back describes, uh, it says NXT, NXT Prospect uh, Austin Aries. And it's got a little short description back there. Clearly not mentioning anything from his days of TNA. Uh, next thing coming out the box is the boss, Sasha Banks glasses. Now, give me one second. You're not, you're not gonna be able to see me trying them on, but I'm just gonna try them on real quick. Yeah, I, I don't know how she could even see all these things. You notice that Sasha only wears them for like a split second and then pulls them, uh, pulls them up because she, you can barely see through these things. I don't even know how. You, but regardless, they're nice and they're collectible for me because Sasha Banks is my favorite wrestler. So th there it is, the boss's official sunglasses. Um, next thing coming out the box is. Oh wait. Gotta work a little bit to get this one out. It's in plastic. And it's wrapped up in something else. Oh, a Dean Ambrose belt buckle. Check that out. His official Dean Ambrose logo. Um, nice belt buckle. I might use that one day, who knows? But uh, for now, Oh yeah, I could, I, could, I could do that because I could just say it's the Diaz Asylum if anybody asks. <laughs> I just got an idea so I'm going along, guys. Anyway, very nice and very heavy too. You can knock somebody out with this. I'm going to try it on, you know, 
throw it in the, one of the producers said when this is over. If they survive, I'll let you know. Next thing out the box is a pin, which you can pin to your shirt, your jacket, uh, of the WWE, or excuse me, I'm gonna say it correctly, the WWF Championship. Uh, Wind Eagle, the Wind Eagle design, which was by far my favorite design of the championship. Uh, this particular, this particular design was used from WrestleMania 4, 1988, all the way to WrestleMania 14 in 1997. The first person to hold this actual design of the belt was Macho Man Randy Savage, and the very last person to hold it was Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, this is a pretty nice pin, and again, you can pin it to your jacket, your shirt. Uh, I don't even think I want to take it out of the packaging, to be honest, it's so nice. Now, we're almost getting to the end, guys. We're almost getting to the end, guys. I'm gonna cover up these things for one second, but Bada boom, realest guys in the room. You get an Enzo and Cass t-shirt with your subscription. As you can see right here, it's Enzo is the yellow figure talking with the microphone while Big Cass looks like the abominable snowman in the background. Um, and it's a collector's item. You cannot go on WWE shop and buy this. Okay guys? So if you did not get this first slam crate box, your S out of luck because you can't, you can't buy this. Or if you want to buy it from me on eBay, that's cool. that, that's also a thing you can do too. But an Enzo and Cass t-shirt. And finally, the very last thing coming out the box is a New Day Bootyfold's Moment, Bootyful Moment Collectible. Big E, Big E. Kofi and Xavier are riding a unicorn. And this is a collectible, again, something that you cannot buy anywhere. It says on the top of the box, made with 100% positivity. On the back, you see this picture of them being goofballs as usual. And uh, this is, again, something that you cannot go to your, your local, uh, what do they call Hot Topic or anything to buy. Because as you can see right there at the corner of the box, no, right here, it says it's a Loot Crate exclusive. So if you want one, you didn't get a Loot Crate box, sorry you can't have one. Just kidding. Just, maybe you still got time to, uh, you know, sign up for this month's uh, subscription, but if you don't, all of these things that you see right here, for most likely the exception of the glasses and the belt buckle, and probably this patch, um, no, no, not even because the patch says it's an exclusive. Maybe the belt buckle and the glasses you can buy on WWE Shop. The rest of this stuff here is things that you will not be able to purchase on WWE Shop. So, you got a lot of cool items for it being the first box. Um, and I'm kind of excited to see what the next box brings from the uh, Slant Crate WWE. And if you look right here on the inside, you see the WWE Slam, and if you look further inside, it's the first with New Day in the uh, background there. Well, let me try to open it up a little more. You see New Day in the background there. Not literally, but you know, you can tell it's them. So, all this nice stuff comes in one little box. And uh, again, this was the first and it's a bi-monthly thing, so we'll be doing a review on the next box when it comes, I'm assuming some at some point between uh, the first of the new year and the Royal Rumble. Okay guys, I am the face that runs this space, Rich Diaz. This has been In The Ring, and I'll see you next week. Okay guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button now. And don't forget to follow our Facebook page so you can join us during our live pre-show segment each week. We appreciate everyone's participation and we thank you for the continued support.